What's better than one state boys sectional final? How about two? That's right, a hockey doubleheader here from Wilson Park. On the line, trips to Madison next week to play for a state championship. Game one pits Janesville against local power Kettle Moraine. The Bluebirds of Janesville were toughened up all season by a steady diet of Big 8 schools, and it showed in this one. J.T. Smith back with the shot. Tyler Perkins gets a piece as it skips by goalie Paul McLean. Jayville up early, but the Lasers answer. On the power play, Connor Freeman slides this wrister by Jesse Heis. This game was even at two apiece after one period, but Janesville took over with a dominant second period. First, it's Perkins wide open in the middle and finishing with this rocket, 3-2 Bluebirds. Later, it's Harry Henschler all alone in front, and he hammers it home. Now 5-2 Bluebirds after two. Kettle Moraine needs a quickie in the third to stay alive, but it's Janesville who lights the lamp. And who else to do it but Perkins? He adds yet another goal to his stats as the Bluebirds overwhelm Kettle Moraine 7-2, a tough finish to a fine season for the Lasers. They were better tonight. Their goalie was great, and you give them credit. It's obviously difficult to see this thing end the way it did, and uh, you know we're going to tell them that, but they can be proud. They've had four great years, these seniors, and we're, and we're proud of each and every one of them. Game two featured the top area team, Cedarburg, taking on University School. The Bulldogs have not lost a game since early December, and a big reason for that success is goalie Matt McCoy. Staked to an early one goal lead, McCoy was a stone wall in goal. Here he makes back to back saves to keep the Wildcats scoreless. Still 1 0 Bulldogs as we head to the third period. Max Schmidt was huge in net for USM as well. Here he stones Evan Gable on this breakaway to keep the Wildcats alive. Finally, with just over two minutes to play, the Wildcats get the equalizer. The Dogs turn it over, and Nicholas Epperson makes them pay. We head to overtime tied at one, and we stay even till the middle of the second OT. Cedarburg on the attack, Gable with a nice move to create some space, and he unleashes the winner. The Dogs get their first trip to state in five years as they edge USM in a classic two to one. What I've learned about our team is when push comes to shove, we usually shove back and we shove harder. That's what kind of showed tonight. They were pushing us around for a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, we were outworked them and we won.